Welcome to, Nati for All, YouTube channel, here, you can practice sample dialogues for Nati CCL exam. The following is a dialogue between a doctor and a patient who has just been diagnosed with diabetes. The doctor explains some of the symptoms and gives some details about what the patient needs to do to manage the disease and to control sugar levels. The dialogue begins now. Good afternoon. I'm glad you could come today. I asked you to come in so that I can give you some information about diabetes, and how to manage it. Bagus. Saya tidak faham bagaimana saya menghidap diabetes. Saya tidak pernah makan gula-gula. Sebenarnya saya benci makanan manis. Well, if you don't like sweet food, that will help you manage it. With diabetes, your body can't produce enough insulin to break down the sugars in food, and so sugar remains in your blood. Tetapi mengapa saya merasa sangat lemah dan sakit, dan menjadi pening? Mainly, because without enough insulin, your body can't break down the sugars in food into a form it can absorb, so your cells aren't getting enough energy from the food you're eating. Adakah terdapat penawar?
No, not yet. Your diabetes is what's called type 2, and what you have to do for that, is to control the diabetes with medication, and by following a strict healthy diet. Anda menyebut ubat. Adakah saya perlu menjalani suntikan? No. If you're careful with your diet and exercise, then you should be able to manage it by taking a tablet, every morning, half an hour before you have anything to eat or drink. Apa yang akan berlaku sekiranya saya tidak mengikuti rutin ini? Well, if you don't manage your diabetes properly, it'll get worse, and you might have to start having injections. If that happens, you'll need injections every day for the rest of your life. Saya benar-benar ingin mengelakannya jika saya boleh. And as well as that, diabetics have a greater risk of heart disease, blindness, impotence, and other problems. 
So, it's a good idea to look after yourself properly. Apa yang harus saya lakukan, dan apa yang harus saya lakukan? You need to eat what we call complex carbohydrates dash these foods release sugar into your blood slowly and don't raise your blood sugar too high. Saya tidak makan makanan dengan gula di dalamnya. Saya tidak suka makanan manis. When I say sugar, I'm using the word in a general way. It means carbohydrates, not the sugar that people put in coffee or tea. Some foods with sugars in them don't taste sweet at all. These are what we call the complex carbohydrates, and they're the foods which are best for you. Things like pasta, cereals, rice, potatoes. Bagaimana dengan keropik? Saya suka makanan goreng. Saya mempunyai mereka hampir setiap hari. Maybe just have chips once a week. 
You have to try and avoid food that's high in fat, especially saturated fat. So, if you're a meat eater, avoid fatty meat. Use vegetable oil when you fry food. Olive oil is particularly good. And stir frying's the best way to fry food, because it uses less oil. Vegetables are all good for you. Bagaimana dengan buah segar? Itu boleh menjadi sangat manis. That's fine, but you have to check whether your blood sugar level is getting too high. Fruit will increase your sugar level, so you have to eat it at a suitable time. And you should avoid very sweet food, like jam. Kedengarannya semakin rumit. Bagaimana saya akan mengetahui tahap gula darah saya? That's easy. You can check it with a monitor you can carry around with you. It only takes a minute or two. The receptionist will show you how to do it, and she'll give you some food information brochures. You can take them home with you and read them at home. Terima kasih. Satu soalan terakhir. Adakah saya perlu berhenti berenang gantian nis?
No, in fact they'll keep you fit. And if your diabetes is properly managed, you'll notice that you don't feel weak or sick anymore, and you'll be able to enjoy them. Just make sure you've had enough to eat, before you swim or play tennis, because hard exercise makes your blood sugar drop quickly. Baiklah untuk mengetahui. Saya tidak perlu mengubah diet saya terlalu banyak, hanya melepaskan kerepek. That's right. See how it goes, and come back in a month or so. If everything's settled down and there's no problems, I'll write a letter for you to take to the road traffic authority regarding your driving license, so you can drive again. Bagus. Terima kasih doktor. Saya akan berjumpa dengan anda bulan depan. End of dialogue. Subscribe to Naughty for All YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified when we post our videos.